Hi friends, today for scrap five challenge, it is May 2020 and we have to use Puffy Anything, Mist, a multi-font title, the color black, and a punch. Very easy. Why is it so easy? Because I got to pick the, the five this month. I'm scrapping in a different room this time. It's, it's really kind of tricky. Like I'm filming this in April and we are still in, um, you know, the partial lockdown and all that kind of thing. And so we have two people working from home here. We have people doing homework and yeah, so I'm having to kind of move around the house so it accommodates everybody. So that's what's going on there. I am also going to be using this color challenge right here. This is from the scrap room. I like the color palette and I'm using a scrap room kit. So this is from the double shot kit. I've got, they, we got three pattern papers, is that how it works, and three cardstock. So I have one full sheet of cardstock and two partials. So I'm going to use the full sheet, clearly, as my background, because that's all I have. And then I have some really fun little die cuts left. I'm going to use as many of those as I can. And the photos I'm going to use, or the one photo, is this one right here. This is my son and youngest daughter. And we had an Easter egg hunt for Easter 2020. And they just had to run around and find Reese's peanut butter cup eggs. So that was the kind of Easter egg hunt we had this year. So it's just kind of fun. And yeah, neither of them are dressed for Easter because I was like, let's just get started doing Easter stuff. She was doing homework and he was getting ready to work out. But that's just how that went. And they were game and they just went along with what I said. So I'm going to go and start this process and I think I'm going to look on, um, I'm in Shamal sketch class and I haven't done any of it. I've watched all the videos, but I think I'm going to go look at sketch one. I don't even know what it is anymore. I'm going to look at sketch one of her new sketch class and play along with it. All right, here we go, friends. All righty. So I am using that great aqua with polka dot, you know, it's kind of tone on tone for my background. I have a really large block of the the circle with polka dot paper down below and now I'm making blocks to go you'll you see the cream one and I'll have one other pattern paper one I'm gonna flip flop those so so that the dots aren't with the dots and all that kind of thing so I'm gonna make kind of a blocky layout and if you are taking Chamel's uh, sketch class you know what I mean with the um, second one I wish that I could share the sketch with you but it is paid content so it's just not the right thing to do but see, you can see that little tiny corner of it there on my iPad. I'm just kidding. I know you can't see it at all. So I have my color blocking on and I went ahead and used a scrap of this teal color cardstock that I have just so I can bring that picture a little bit more off the page. And then I popped it up on a little bit of fun foam. Now I'm going back through the embellishments that I do have left to see what I might be able to include on this page. Now, for me, there's a lot of white space. And what I mean by that is, a, is an area where it's just not that busy, but that's okay to have every once in a while. It was just a little bit different and, you know, it ended up being fun because it was a little bit different. So if you've been watching me recently, I am a little bit in love with my ticket punch. And I decided to look at the small amount of scraps that I have and punch three tickets in the same colors out of my scraps. And I'll be able to layer them up and give a nice foundation for some clusters. All right, I have my foundation pieces down and I also went ahead and attached my photo. Now, originally I was going to put my photo just in that aqua color block and I decided I liked it a little bit better spanning across both pages. So that's where that is going to go. I have a cluster that I'm starting at the top right. I'm going to do a photo cluster down where you see me fussing along with my little tickets. And I'm also going to create a cluster on the well, mid-ish left. So we're going to end up with a visual triangle of clusters. I popped my fun title on a little bit of foam. And now I'm going to do the multi-font part of the title by using these great little uh, foam with glitter thickers. I think they're by Amy Tan. Not super sure, but I... I know it's American Crafts, but I think they're by Amy Tan. And they're a great size, so you can end up having those two different size um, 
titles and they just fit on top of die cuts and stuff ever so nicely. It's really cute. So these cute little eggs, I'm going to go ahead and pop them up. Anytime I have something that seems rather themey, like little Easter eggs, mm -hmm. I try to get them used up on that holidays or that themes layout because I just don't know when else I would be able to incorporate them into regular scrapping unless they're kind of just something tucked behind. But this is working. They were actually doing an Easter egg hunt. It just happened to be Reese's peanut butter cup eggs, but it does work at least in my head. I had this little turquoise banner piece that reads extravaganza, which also works with a little Easter egg idea. I popped that up on a little bit of foam, so I have a little bit of shadow and dimension and all that kind of thing. So at this point, I had looked on my desk and I had these, um, these black rub-ons, so I thought that could work as kind of like a textural element as well as for my color black because I did want black on here. Now there is some black on the outlining around the word fun, but I thought this made it go into much more of a prominent color. My son's wearing black shorts as well. So it's bringing your eye into the photo just a little bit more and kind of taking away from just, just the pastel kind of feel. These rub-ons are from Doodlebug and they're about a thousand years old and they still work like a charm. I think I've gone as far as I can with the products that are in my kit. So this is when I start looking at the other kits I have or like the little pile of products that I'm trying to use up that's right on my desk. So this time I do have this uh, partial set of puffy, mm. they're kind of like puffy titles and they happen to have puffy hearts on them. So that is working for my puffy anything. And I mean, seriously, puffy, mm. Puffy pieces are my very favorite scrapbooking item. So that's how that went on there. Another thing that I love is bright colors with pops of black and white. Now this is a little bit more of an off-white in this layout, but we're gonna go with it as, as kind of those things that I really enjoy. Now bring me to the third thing that I love is sketches and I am working off a sketch even though, you know, you can't really see what's what. I am having myself a time. I brought in these, the word blessed that was in my little um, Ikea container. And that is, they're like metallic gold with, with, with white foam on the side, I believe. So very cool. So blessed Easter fun works. I thought the word blessed would really work. Mm -hmm. I only had um, like three or four pieces of those foam uh, words. Well, there's three words and one flower. And I figured... I better get the word blessed on there quickly <laughs> so that I didn't end up with leftover random stuff. So R and J stands for Ryan and Justin, the two kids that are in the photo. I do have three kids. My daughter um, was with her boyfriend for Easter and they were um, kind of, kind of self-quarantining. So, well, not kind of, they were, and they, they just spent Easter away from their families, but you know, we we're in close contact and all that kind of stuff. So these Momenta pieces I've been using lots and lots of because I find them to be adorable. And they were in the last haul that I was able to do from Tuesday morning before everything shut down around here. I'm going to create a quick little journaling spot using a pencil and my T-square ruler and just throw a few lines in there, you know, and I don't tend to make my lines all equal since I can never line things up perfectly anyways I rather have them wonky on purpose so I looked in my little scrappy bag that I have um, with me and I have this this set of not set like as you can see I have some little word stickers and these are the ones I'm currently trying to use up because I have tons of tiny word stickers because I enjoy them so I'm trying to keep to just a few different sets and I went in there and pulled three different words sentiment stickers, whatever you want to call them, that would work with this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I will be pulling out this baggie that I have with photo corners. And it's really going to bring your eye right to the photo and add a little bit more black. So in that same bag, I have this set of little stickers and I grabbed a couple of the arrows out. Now the colors aren't spot on, but they're pretty close. And I always feel like arrows add this really great directional kind of interest. 
I mean, I remember when I first started using arrows and they were on everything mm. for a while. They were in so many scrapbooking supplies and all of that. So I'm always excited when companies continue mm. to add them in. I mean, these are kind of fun and whimsical and clearly an Easter egg hunt is more, a, you know, on that vein of fun and whimsical. Mm. But I did like the little pops of color that they added. Finally, adding mist or splatters was on my list. So I am going to use this absolutely stunning Jen Hadfield gold, is it called glitter, glitter mist? Something like that. I'm going to add that and it's going to end up totally completing this layout. I know that you can see that I've added just a few enamel dots, but check out how great this mist looks. So, oh, I did tell you it's a Jen Hadfield mist and it's a gold mist. I have two bottles and it is initially a little bit more watery than like the Heidi Swap Color Shine, but it is an almost perfect dupe when it dries. So there's a little bit more of a close up of this layout. I hope you like what I came up with today and I will be back ever so soon with another layout. Bye-bye friends.